I think it's a mixture really. Obviously it's, it's financed by the um, Intellectual Property Office. Um, but I think it's, you know, you see a lot of Wallacey type inventions in there that, that have been used in the films and some, have, some that haven't. But there's also like a history of inventions as well. So hopefully it is, you know, it will, it will hopefully inspire kids to see you know, what, what a, a rich sort of history and, uh, you know, heritage we have in design and ideas and, and inspire them to be the ideas people of tomorrow. I think that's what the exhibition is hoping to do is, is say to kids that you don't have to think of something totally from scratch. You could look at everything, everything around us, um, you know, the, the music you listen to, the, the, the clothes you wear, the, the seats you sit on, the cup you drink out, has all been thought up by someone. And, um, and you could be the person, you know, that does that tomorrow. But I, I did actually want to be an inventor, actually, I, I did. I used to love those films like, um, um, you know, the H.G. Wells film um, and Jules Verne stories, uh, you know, where you had these eccentric inventors. My dad was a real, um, you know, he, well, he loved woodwork, really. He loved building things and woodwork. Um, and uh, we, there's always tons, he never threw anything away, so if we wanted to build a cart or something, there was always tons of, you know, old pram wheels and, and, and planks. To, and we were encouraged to go in there and just build our own stuff, really, as kids. Um, I think, it, in a way, Wallace and Gromit celebrates that, that old-fashioned attitude of hanging on to all your junk and, and recycling it. And, um, I certainly, you know, even today I find it hard to throw a, a cardboard tube away from a, a bit of packaging. Or I find it hard to throw plastic packaging away because I'm thinking that could be a, a spaceship or, a, you know, that I do as part of a prop in a film.